Hey Virgos, welcome back to your weekend love reading for August 4th through the 7th. We're going to take a look and see what the messages are for the weekend for you. If you're new, please do hit that subscribe button. Hello everyone in the chat. All right, you guys, let's get into this. Let's get into this reading, this weekend messages. Okay, you have the Emperor. Somebody's connecting with their father over the weekend. Could be an Aries. April 8th, I'm picking up. Some of you are connecting with um, uh, a father figure or a boss. Uh, you might be lifting, maybe strength training, connecting with a fitness trainer, right? Lifting weights up and down, back and forth. That strange message just came out like that. Maybe you're going to start um, <laughs> connecting with a fitness trainer or doing something here. All right, let me just take a look. I want to get all of these. Oh, wow. What? Okay, there's definitely love on the table over this weekend. I have to tell you that. There's there's definitely, you're connecting with someone over the weekend. Um, could be starting, um, as I'm doing this reading, August 4th through the 8th. So it's definitely happening. Let me see. Oh my goodness, you have so much... Okay. Okay. <sighs> All right, Virgo, let's get started. Okay, let's get into this message. So there's somebody coming in here, possibly Thursday, Friday, who's very confident, um, strong. This is someone who's like very brave and courageous. Okay, it could be a Leo, it could be an Aries. For some of you, there's also Cancer and Capricorn energy. Um, there's a decision that's being made about connecting with someone over this weekend, okay? It could be in a gym. <laughs> uh, it could be at your work, meeting this person somewhere um, for dinner, drinks, uh, connecting with someone, finding compatibility, happy couple kind of thing. Um, Let's see. Some of you, I just heard your father is getting stronger. I just heard. So if, if you have a father who was ill or there was a father figure in your life who was ill, uh, this father figure is getting their strength back and they're they're doing well. Okay. Uh, I'm just hearing like physical therapy. They're, they're gaining their balance. Or, or they, um, with a little bit of help, they might have like a nurse or something. Okay. Um, somebody who's helping them. Give me a second here. Also, some of you might be asked to watch somebody's pet over the weekend. <clears throat> um, or to give a pet medicine, I'm hearing. Um, I, it could be your pet, right? Um, it could be your pet that you're taking care of over the weekend that you have to give medicine to. I just heard. You know what? My OCD is kicking in. This is really bugging me. Okay, let me just get a couple of clarifying cards on this here. What's going on with this? Show me this emperor. There's definitely, <clears throat> excuse me, on the love front, there's definitely a love connection uh, coming up here. Let me see. Somebody's getting the confidence to approach you. And it feels like beginning mostly on the fifth okay all right show me this emperor oh yeah oh yeah knight of cups somebody's making a love offer hmm on the fifth i don't know what's going on here but somebody's making a decision about connecting adapting being more flexible coming into um harmony with you Definitely. So, you know what? I don't, uh, you know, hold on a minute. I just thought of something. Because I was starting to do a reading earlier and a card flew out and I saw the card from one of my other decks and I thought, oh, well, I'm not, this isn't the reading I'm doing. But now they're just telling me to show you this. Okay, I've got Sweetheart. And if you can see, this person is kind of like looking at a piece of paper, reading some kind of a message, or there's a text message, or looking at looking at a phone. Okay, so you're you're definitely going to be getting oh, all 
kinds of dings, bells, and whistles. You're definitely going to be getting some kind of a message over the weekend from someone. Okay. And this feels like a love message. <clears> or <throat> somebody's making an offer here, um, a pro romantic proposal, um, somebody charming, uh, asking for a date. Okay. Connecting with you. Okay. Maybe even a couple. You might even be getting a couple. Somebody like interest coming in here. All right. So that's starting, I feel like, on Friday, August 5th. Now, okay. <laughs> on the 6th, there's love and the Ten of Cups and the Fool. And there's your card, the Queen of Pentacles here. So, I mean, you might even be getting like an actual a romantic proposal that leads to a long-term, you know, commitment or partnership over this weekend. Some of you are traveling, either you're traveling to connect with your family. There's a reunion, either you're traveling or somebody else is traveling. Okay. I feel like somebody's coming in over the weekend here that wants to like offer their love to you. Oh, like it's so strong across the board here. Okay. Gemini, Pisces, Aquarius energy. We have another Virgo. Now it doesn't have to be those signs, but absolutely. You know, this lover's card, this is like kindred spirits, sexual connection for some of you or sexual attraction to people. Like, there's a decision being made here about uh, getting together, somebody making a decision or two people deciding on a long-term relationship. Okay. Now, I mean, if you guys are like completely single, um, there's Scorpio energy there. If you're completely single and somebody comes in like out of the blue <laughs> and it's like, I want to marry you. I want us to be together forever. Virgo, you know, you're generally like, you're going to just keep rereading that text. Like, are you, are you crazy? Like what the heck's the matter with you? <laughs> but there's definitely somebody showing up here over the weekend to connect with you. That, and it's just an energy of like, I've got to go see Virgo. I've got to connect with Virgo. I have to meet up with Virgo. I am in love with Virgo. Somebody here is like definitely coming in over this weekend. You might know this person, you might already be connecting with them in some way, but at first you're going to get, I do feel like some kind of message or communication from this person. It's either going to be like a letter or something sent to you. It could be a text message. It's something, or you could see a missed call on your phone. There could be a voicemail. Uh, somebody's definitely reaching out to you. And this person comes across to me as in this emperor energy okay well even if they're female they're coming in with this very structured dependable um authoritative like it's kind of like i you know i i want to be with you uh, i'm they're sending an invitation okay and then the connection gets made actually you might say yes this person could be in their 60s you might say yes to this person um they could also be between 48 and 60 is what I'm hearing. Okay. Um, and please, if you're like 35 and you don't date 60 year olds, I don't need you to say in the comments somewhere. I don't date people that age. It's not your message. Okay. So let me see here. Show me this lovers. What is this with the lovers? Oh my goodness. Okay. So two court cards. We've got the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. So Mm, there's a king of cups showing up here who's like really into you really in love with you that might be that person showing up here okay um that's cancer scorpio pisces it doesn't have to be that sign it could be somebody who's in that energy though where they're just really feeling it deep deep feelings for you <clears throat> there might even be marriage or some kind of proposal that gets made this person is very spontaneous. This is going to be somewhat unexpected, especially over the weekend. Like <clears throat> there's an opening up here. This person is definitely, hold on. 
this person is making this decision to reach out to connect with you okay now for some of you um, you could be getting a couple of offers you could be getting an offer from an Aries okay or someone who sits in that um, uh, Emperor energy connecting with you on <clears throat> Friday on Saturday it could be somebody who is uh, you know, coming to see you or wants, you know, uh, you know, this King of Cups making this their entrance, their debut coming towards you. Okay, I just want to see the fool uh, coming through very innocent, f like very free, uh, maybe even foolish, but following the heart because that's what the King of Cups does. Um, it's not not a decision here in love being made out of logic or anything along those lines. This is spontaneous. This is someone who's like ready for new beginnings. And oh, I was just going to clarify um, the fool and I get the fool again. So they're just telling me this person is basically like taking a risk here. Cares to the wind. They're not even, they don't care what the outcome is. They're just doing it. They're just coming towards you. Okay. Now, <laughs> on Sunday, this is crazy. You have the Ace of Cups the Page of Swords, the Page of Cups, and uh, the Nine of Wands. So, there is 100%. I, so, I feel like over uh, the weekends, there, somebody's going to be admitting or confessing their love. They're going to take a risk and tell you they're in love with you and they want to connect and be with you, have a reunion for some, or just um, come home, I'm hearing. Um do a family thing that kind of thing okay let me see <clears throat> now others some of you might be whenever i look at this i always feel like you're looking at something you're looking down at something okay this could be looking at your laptop looking at your phone looking at your computer looking at a newspaper reading a book there's something you're going to be seeing over the weekend as well and this feels like a separate message um, about somebody somebody traveling you might see this online somebody traveling that they're going home <clears throat> okay so you might see this online or they're they're getting together with family or there's some kind of reunion you might you might see this online okay where this person is okay yeah so six of wands so you might see this person in like a, a winning um receiving a lot of a lot of praise and a winning kind of situation uh, i don't know what that means um a lot of followers a lot of people praising them okay show me this fool card again okay two of wands <clears throat> So I feel like for you, you might be watching, you're watching and waiting, watching and waiting for something. Why am I being so drawn to this Saturday message? You're watching and waiting. Oh, wow. Nine of wands. That's twice. You're, you might, okay, you're a little bit defensive about some kind of reunion. What, what does this even mean? Maybe it's something you don't want to go to or you get invited to something and you're like, you maybe you see everyone is looking to see who's all going. And some of you might say, well, no, I can't go to that. You know, so-and-so is going to be there or I don't want to connect. Okay. Wow. So the Ace of Wands plus the Nine of Wands, that's the Ten of Wands. It might feel like um, a burden. Something connecting somebody might be somewhere a family event or something over the weekend that you might get invited to as well and I feel like you're kind of looking like everybody's going to be there and it looks like it's going to be a successful event you know um, part of you wants to take a risk and go but the other part of you is like no maybe I'll just wait I just see a lot of defensive energy about some type of connection a reunion or somebody else 
because somebody else is going to be there doing something or uh, at this attending some kind of event and you might just I don't know I feel like you're not sure if you should go or not okay okay it might be two people maybe someone you're connecting with and also an ex is there or brothers that you're not you know there might be two brothers oh okay some of you are going to see <laughs> some of you are going to see that the person that you thought was heterosexual you're going to find out is actually homosexual and that's going to be a bit of a surprise for you you may not want to believe it you, you might see this somewhere you might get some information or witness this that there's a I don't know that it's really a surprise or a shock but some of you have an inkling that somebody that you've been connecting with might be homosexual but they've been playing it off that they're not like kind of in the closet but you might find out that this person like over this weekend is like oh my god there it is there it is I knew it and I don't see you being like judgmental but I feel like you've been lost about possibly lost about this for some strange reason <laughs> And I feel like you're going to get clarification about that over the weekend. Okay. What? <clears throat> All right. That, that, we just dove deep into the, the Saturday thing. We dove deep into the Saturday thing. So it's, it was two separate messages. Okay. So, you know, just keep it in mind as the weekend approaches, what the energy is going on. All right. <sighs> I know I'm all over the place, but I'm just being pulled where I'm pulled. And I'm now, I'm being pulled to take a look at Friday's energy. So this emperor coming in with this knight of cups, this offer, some kind of text message or something that you're going to be getting an invite to, um, somebody having the confidence, really confident about connecting or about um, meeting up with you. Okay, yeah, definitely communication, ace of swords, clarity and truth. I want to... This feels like somebody reaching out to you and uh, asking you out on a date on Friday. Okay, and with that Ace of Swords, this is kind of like there's a conversation between two people about where should we meet. And then like a light bulb goes off, you guys figure out, um, it could maybe you live somewhere near the mountains or out in Colorado, somewhere near there. Um, I'm, there's an eagle here, so something to do with eagles. Let me see here. There's clarity, truth. Oh, okay. Here's the king of wands, you guys. So we did see Aries. Okay. <laughs> Leo. There's Leos on the table. Could be a Sagittarius. Um, this is also communication not just an invite it could be this communication as well from this person giving you some truth that they are very attracted to you and they want to connect with you <laughs> male or female energy like i said masculine or feminine it doesn't matter um that this person is like pretty much got the hots for you and um they just keep thinking about you this person comes in very charming and wants to sweep you up off your feet you know, and they're getting the confidence to do this, which is strange because the Emperor and the King of Wands are not persons who lack, who are lacking in confidence. So I don't know what it is about, well, yes, we do. We know what it is about you, Virgo, um, getting up the courage to talk to you or to try to have a meetup or connect with you. Um, hmm. This is also somebody following their heart chivalry okay <laughs> let me see what is this two of wands here oh okay so i kind of feel like you're gonna be pretty much on friday like i'm gonna decide i don't really know you know you might have a little thing or might it might you might get a little excited when you get this message but why are you you know trying to balance out or figure out what you want to do here um what is the juggling about? Oh, maybe you feel like this person's a juggler. Okay. <laughs> oh, you got the Ace of Cups, though. Hmm. You got a decision to make, definitely. When you get this message or this offer, or this person tries to connect with you, I mean, there's potential for love here. This this person, do I think they're juggling? Mm, 
they might have another partner, um, but I don't feel like they're happy with that partner. Yep. Eight of Cups, Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy. This person is, um, uh, they're looking outside of their relationship. They're not happy. And they're not someone who's just going to end the relationship and take time out for themselves for like a year before they get into another one. Now, this person, when they, here's the strength card again, when this, they're very confident um, and they're gaining confidence. When this person sees something or someone that they're interested in, um, they just get out of the relationship that they're in if they're not happy there. And then they go towards somebody else. You know, um, this, this is how they operate. And I'm not saying whether this is right or wrong. Okay, I'm just saying that because you all have your opinions and so do I. But this is someone who's like, I'm, I'm not I'm not happy where I am. I haven't been. And I, I haven't had the. Yeah, I've been comfortable, but I'm not happy. And I don't want to be in this. Somebody's got like a, a huge thing for you here. Mm, very physical, physically attractive, physically attracted to you. Okay, so what's going on? Friday and Saturday look like a whole hell of a lot of drama for you guys, but it is what it is. Let's see. What's the drama on Sunday? Okay, so you have the Ace of Cups, the Page of Swords. Okay, there's an outpouring of love happening here on Sunday. Maybe some of you are just going to church. Who knows? Um, there's also an apology from somebody, uh, and somebody's watching you know, kind of keeping their eyes on you. Let me see here. Yeah, they're, they're stepping back and watching, watching you get into another relationship, watching you have some type of new beginning in your life. Okay, who is this person? Gosh, Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody's watching you um, being loved, being offered love. It is stressing them out. And they're... Yeah, this is crazy. So it feels to me like whoever is making love offers to you or whoever you're engaging with over this weekend if you're engaging with someone over the weekend there's some there's a third party here who's watching and and they are like i gotta reach out to virgo i gotta make an apology i gotta try to start i'm gonna lose virgo okay let me see if we can get more clarity as to who this person might be i'm actually gonna pull from other deck Okay, because it's it's an energy, so they're not really telling me. So, all right, so I'll say this. It could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It could be a Gemini or a Sagittarius. Okay, let me see. Let's see if you can give us a court card. Tell us who this person is that is watching Virgo and is stressing to the max about... Um, Virgo working on a new relationship and letting them go. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess they don't want to tell you. Hmm. Ugh. Okay, Queen of Swords. So for some of you, this Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Okay. This is interesting. Yeah, so I feel like, yeah, there's going to be a conversation from somebody um, about what are you doing? Who are you? Like, are you in a new relationship with someone? Somebody's going to be asking you questions. Who are, who are you with when you went? Who were you with over the weekend? Because they might see something. You might see something. You might show something. They're going to be like, open up and tell me. Who were you talking to? Who were you with? Do they have a right to do that? I don't know. Do you have to tell them? I don't know. Okay. But, I mean, obviously, look at you. You might not be with anybody. Or you might just be single as Pringle and just doing your own thing, 
you know, and you might give some pushback, like, hey, it's none of your business. I feel like you're going to get some communication. Somebody's going to be asking you about your weekend. Um, what were you hiding? Were you with somebody? A little bit of jealousy happening here. A little bit of possession and jealousy showing up here. Yeah, this person's like going to try to get some information out of you here with the moon. They think you're hiding something. They have misconceptions. They don't have enough information, so they're just automatically assuming that that's what's going on, okay? That you're connecting with someone. You got goals. <laughs> Virgo, you've got goals this week. You're just like, this weekend looks like you're doing your own thing, but you have so much stuff going on. It's even, it's just crazy. But yeah, someone, I feel like whoever this is, they're intuiting, intuiting that you might have a love offer they might see it somehow or maybe they might just be they're intuiting it but they, they don't have absolute clarity which is why they're asking you questions which is why they're spying okay you might not be putting anything out there anywhere but even that in itself has their gears rolling like where could you be what are you doing I, and i don't know is this person like, what is the deal with this person? Uh, you know, that Queen of Swords energy, male or female, okay? And it doesn't have to be a, a, an air sign, but this person coming through is like very determined to get answers. Oh, there's the Empress, so that's Taurus energy. Huh, they think you're leaving them. They think that you're walking away and you're you're doing new beginnings and leaving them behind. Uh, this person could be born March 21st. Some of you, uh, let's see, we have September 20th, September 18th. Okay, there's King of Cups. So for the for those of you who um, are connecting with females, this is Queen of Swords, air sign. For those of you who are connecting with males, it's um the king of cups pisces uh cancer scorpio water sign okay oh boy i feel like this person um yeah there's watching there's i i wouldn't say like it seems like it would be jealousy but it's very minimal it's more curiosity okay this card just I'm such a Virgo. This card says family orientated. That's not even a freaking word. It's family oriented. Not family orientated. <laughs> and this is a card that the uh, emotional intelligence. Okay. There's no intelligence in that. So excuse me for being a nitpicking Virgo. I'm a teetotaler. <laughs> All right. Let me see here. This is just craziness. This whole... This whole weekend, yeah, this person is like completely stressed. So Sunday, I feel there's going to be some inquisition happening from somebody, possibly air, possibly water, connecting, trying to find out like, or trying to make it make an apology because they can, they just pick up that you might be connecting with someone. Okay, let me see what your other messages are here. Show me more messages for Virgo on Friday. What else does Virgo need to know? Okay, I'm moving to a safe place. Putting in the effort. Okay, and oh, so you're, it's a twin soul connection that's coming in here that you're connecting with on Friday. Okay. Moving to a safe place. Some of you might be relocating over the weekend and somebody's coming in to help you and this is like your this is like your purse. This is like love here. This is the lovers. Okay. <laughs> um and there's some reconciliation. So for some of you, this is a reconciliation situation happening on Friday. You're 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 getting somebody's reaching out to you, can we get back together or can we meet up again? Okay. That kind of thing. They might help you with something um, with moving. Okay. As far as like maybe furniture or picking up a car or, uh, you know, giving you a ride or taking or doing something, helping you with something. Okay. 
And then there's this, hey, you know, this love thing happens. Okay, very interesting. <laughs> Let me see. Let's take a look at Saturday. What are the messages here for Virgos for Saturday? Other messages. Okay, trust your intuition, Virgo. Remember I said some of you are going to find out that somebody who was straight um, might have been in the closet and they come out of the closet. Now, for some of you, that might be like super exciting and you're very happy for them. And for others, it's just like, what? I knew it, but I couldn't prove it. You're, if your intuition was telling you that, the answer is going to be revealed to you on Saturday. Trust your intuition. The answer lies deep within you. Trust spirit. Wait for answers to be revealed to you. It's coming. Okay. And I know that that is a very specific message. So the other message that I will go back to that I was saying is um, something about going to an event that you may not want to attend. Um, you have to trust your intuition on this. Um, I don't know why, because I'm not seeing anything negative, but I do see boundaries being needed to put up if you attend some kind of event over the weekend. And also, um, they're just telling me, you've got two, also, they're just telling me, you've got two people coming in as well on Saturday to connect with you. Um, it's crazy because you have the king of wands you have the king of swords you have the king of cups twice so it looks like a very busy weekend okay I, I, let me just say that it looks like a very busy weekend because these two kings uh, male or female energy are showing up with the lovers here um where they might both be fighting over you as well over this weekend i don't know who they would be to you but there's like some kind of decision being made um, and you might be receiving, okay, yeah, arguments and stuff. Look at this. I'm telling you, my cards don't lie. There, there's also two people who are going to be fighting and vying for your attention. And you may have a decision that you need to make in regards to which one you're going to give the time and attention to. Okay. There's definitely, okay, anger, no win situation. Oh my gosh. So that's how that's playing out. So Virgo, um, and there also might be these two people who are arguing with each other about you. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Saturday looks like drama. Saturday looks like, oh my God, what the hell's going on? What am I feel like you're Virgo? I feel like you're gonna just sit there and watch this drama play out. You're just gonna be like, Look at all these fools online, look at these messages, like, look at these fools. Virgo's all calm and mature. Look at that, grounded. <laughs> Virgo's like, I know I got high social status, you know, but you're, you're just like, Look at these fools messing around, like, what's the matter with them? You're very calm you're very calm I don't see you being involved in the drama I see you more so stepping back and just kind of like uh observing <clears throat> whatever's going on here whatever you find out you're gonna find some stuff out over the weekend for sure <clears throat> on Saturday okay let me see what are the other messages here for Sunday this is an interesting reading okay reflect go into your cave for a while you need to regroup and recollect a lot is going on you need some alone time stay in the stillness and so that's the hermit energy okay um this is why somebody here on sunday is reaching out to you because there's some stuff that they don't know you're hiding a little bit and they're trying to get some information that's what that page of swords is somebody here reaching out to you is trying to get information on you or ask or is asking you questions like i said a very inquisitive kind of thing here wow yeah very determined with the chariot here no hesitation somebody's trying to remove whatever blockages you've got up or they think you have up yeah somebody's be asking you a lot of questions they're very stressed okay deeply loving male okay right when i put it down Deeply loving male in my oracle deck is the king of cups or the, it could be female as well. Okay. So this person, that's who it is. 
um, for those of you who are having a connection, you know, male or female, like I said, it's, it's air or water. So let's not worry about the, the gender. Okay. So, so these are your messages, Virgo, and I know it might be a little bit confusing. I would suggest you replay it a couple of times so you can keep up with me because I know we started here and then we went there and then we went back there and then we went there and then we went there and then we went back. We're all over the map, but I just feel like there's so much energy that's playing out. So replay it over the weekend. You can put it, you can put the playback speed on slow if you need to, <laughs> to try to absorb everything that I'm seeing here. Let me just give you in a nutshell, Friday night, or Friday, there's a love offer being made, okay, by someone who it's coming through as that twin soul, this person wants you, okay, there's a proposal, there's an invite of some sort, you're going to get a text message, or you're going to get something on your phone, or you're going to receive some type of communication from someone. Saturday, there's quite a few messages, you may find out someone is, who was straight, is not straight, or who was uh homosexual is now straight it's weird you're gonna have a couple of people uh, there's a lot of drama okay and there's a lot of boundaries and there's a lot of you just sitting back and observing um there's some arguments and anger of some sort there's some family stuff going on possibly a reunion there's decisions to be made i don't know if you're going to make any decisions over the weekend you're going to see some stuff that's going to make you like it's the old uh, things that make you go, hmm, what is going on? Not surprises, but more clarity. And then on Sunday, you've got somebody reaching out to hear to you, very inquisitive, wanting to know, get some information. Where have you been? What are you doing? Who are you with? Who are you not with? Um, they're seeking clarity. Um, they want you to open up to them. And, you know, they're trying to get at the truth. They either think you're being deceptive or you are, or you're just withholding. Okay. And there might even be an apology and a love offer from this person. So yeah, interesting weekend. And I'm going to leave it there. I am on my way, uh, getting ready to go to see who's my most favorite band, you guys, Incubus. And they're coming into town and I will be attending this concert over the week. And I'm super, super excited. I cannot wait to go. And um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you guys have a most amazing weekend and um, I will see you all back here Sunday. All right, take care. <laughs>